Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is a little bit of fun video. Uh, actually this question was uh, asked by one of my customer. Um, we uh, The customer has a sales like let's say last five years or 10 years, doesn't matter how many number of years. And they were um, visualizing the sales by uh, date, the very low granularity. And if you have like a five years or 10 years of data, I mean, it doesn't make any sense that you want to see for such a long period. But what they wanted to do is they wanted to pick the date range and only show um, uh, in that date range, but that date range will be controlled by a number of months you want to see. For example, if you say I want to see a 12 months of data and they want to make sure in the date range when you select the from and end date that is not outside those 12 months. It's only those 12 months. If I say, okay, I want to see the data for last six months. So the date range you select is only six months. If it's outside six months, then it will give an error. It's not an error message, but it will give a message to the user. Hey, you know, the period you want to see, but the period you selected is, is, is not matching. So reduce your slicer value. Uh, this was not in a what if requirement. It was only like always give last six, always give six months. So the user selected date range, it should be always within six months. But I made it a little bit more dynamic just to showcase how we can make it uh, expand it uh, given the what if parameter. Let's take a look at it. A uh, few more years I did and then um, and then came out with a solution. So here in Power BI, I have a full date range uh, showing the data by date and uh, it's a total amount, just a simple sum. And uh, so I'm selecting the date range. So now it is too crowded. It's, it's very, very hard to understand what's going on, but they wanted to see the data by date. But they want to say, okay, you know what? Does not matter what happens. The date range should be always within the six month, right? And then uh, if users select outside the six month, the date range, then give in a message to the user. Don't show the visual here and give a message to the user that reduce your uh, a date selection. Uh, first thing I did was to created a what if parameter. So uh, here I have a what if parameter. So what I did is in what if parameter I said, okay, uh, maximum uh, number of months to show, let's say it's a six months. So I, I, I use that and uh, that was the one parameter. Now what I want you to do is to make sure if that based on the number number of months selected in the what if parameter, whether this date range is outside that six months. So to do so, let's uh, start writing a few my years here. The first my year, what we're going to write is to find out a, uh, what is our, uh, the period what we selected, like uh, what is the number of months we have currently selected. Okay, so first we need to write a my year now to calculate the number of months we have selected to do so. It's pretty straightforward. Let's add a measure here. Total number of months selected. So what that would be. Um, so we have a column in our day table called YYY um, uh, so MMM. So which is like a month uh, year, that particular uh, column, which is a, um, a month, I call it. And then once we have this, we will, um, so this will give us the unique number of month um, based on the date range we have selected. And then we can simply, it will return a table and then we can count rows uh, on uh, of this table. Now, here is a challenge with this. Um, this itself will not work. We need to further uh, make a small change into this. And what we need to do is we need to wrap it in the calculate and then use all selected function. And I will show you, this is the critical part of this, why we need to do this. So let me show you guys. Uh, uh, so all calendar. So why we need to use all selected. So let me quickly show you guys here in, in this visual here. So total number of months selected supposed to be, if I put this total number of months selected in a KPI here, and just gonna grab it here and put it in a KPI, and it is 13. So right now that's what is based on the selection. If we change the selection, it is, uh, 
it is showing 23 or uh, doesn't matter like what we select so this is giving the correct number but I will tell you why we need to use all selected so before we do that let's keep on moving further so what we're going to do is now we know what numbers are selected and what number of maximum number of uh, months we want to show so it means this is outside based on the what if parameter so we can have a a, a new uh, measure here uh, maybe call it uh, um, something like uh, outside range flag or something like that so what we can do is if total number of months selected is less than equal to max of months to show value so basically what we're saying is if total number of months selected which is 11 in this case if those are less than maximum number of months to shows if 11 is less than equal to 6 in this particular case then it is uh, now it will return false but if we have a we have selected the number of months which is 6 or 5 or 4 or 3 that will be true so this should return a true or false depending on what we're doing so let's uh, let's look at the outside range flag here at the same time in it to make sure that this is working as expected so let's bring this outside range flag in this right now it should be false because 11 is greater than 6 so if I change to this to 11 this will become true should become true or 12 13 16 so this will be always true because this number is always supposed to be the total number of months selected based on the date range should always be less than equal to uh, in the what if parameter value so that's what it is what we're doing here so let's say if we go back to 9 this will go false but if I change my date range to which is within the 9 months so it will come true so this is working fine so everything is good here um, now the one thing I mentioned about why we need to use all selected here so let's look at these two measures. so these two measures are working fine at KPI level or card visual level but let's use these measures in the in the visualization in the date dimension and then a, on the x-axis we're seeing on the date uh, what happens so if I change this to quickly to make it understand if I change it to a, a table visual so let's bring the total number of months selected in the same measure in here it's 7 which is great and outside range flag is uh, it uh, should be true so this is perfectly fine now if I don't use all selected see what happens so let's go back to total number of months selected measure and we remove all selected here you go so this is always true doesn't matter what happens the reason behind that is this is now the row context is getting again contact transaction happening and going to the filter context and now we are always returning one month because June is always have a one month right so all the dates so everything will be one all the time and uh, and this will always true so it doesn't matter what we do here this will never go there will never a false condition it will be always true and that's why what when we say all selected what we're doing is we are forcing not to only look at the filter this row context what we're saying is look at the whole calendar table whatever is selected so what is selected in the whole date and then give us the number of months so that's why all selected is really really critical in this case otherwise this solution will not work so now let's put it back to all selected and so this all will be seven here or 12 based on the number of months selected so 12 and true and the reason behind doesn't matter what date we are looking at it will be always 12 and true so if I go down less than 12 this will go now to 10 and this will become false so 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 everything will be doesn't matter what granularity we are look at the number of months selected will always be the same value doesn't matter what granularity you look at and then the true and false is based on these two uh, a, a checking the whether this total number of months selected is less than equal to uh, what if parameter value so once we have this now it becomes very very easy let's go back to change it to a bar chart here uh, of course um, amount is of course always on what we're using so what we need to do is we need to create another measure 
let's call that measure is sum amount or something which we will use in the visualization so sum amount so what we will do is we will say if our outside range flag if it's true only return only then return the sum amount so that's what it is so now we will use this measure in our visual here so instead of uh, just a regular sum okay so now we will not see anything because uh, we have selected total number of months which is 12 but we want only maximum 10 months so let's go down to six months of course it's still going to be false but let's reduce our date range so within six months and as soon as we are within the six month now our visual shows up so it doesn't matter what date range we select as far as the date range is within the six month um, you know it doesn't matter what period it is it could be anything uh, it will always work so let's say this is now uh, we have selected five months the visual should flag maybe there is no sales during that period I guess that's the reason yeah there probably no sales so let's go further uh, change the range yeah to five okay here you go so there was no sales now this is working perfectly fine so we know uh, whatever number of months we want to show uh, make so we want to make sure the user has selected the date range um, um, you know within that in the number of months now this what if parameter I just added as in a extended functionality maybe we don't need it and it's always six month fixed and now one more thing we can do is uh, in my uh, final output what I did is I also put a KPI here and showed the message um, so what we can say here is we can have a outside flag message so if our outside range flag is true then no message otherwise um, whatever message uh, select different date range whatever we want to show here so now this outside flag message what we can do is uh, we can put it as in a KPI here let me bring uh, so right now it is true it is blank so what I'm gonna do is turn off the category for this so we don't see anything and let's uh, change the date range uh, so this to three so now we will see the message here so let's make few adjustments on this message uh, let's make it a red color and reduce the size to maybe 20 okay so now we can put this in on top of uh, on here so what we can do is now if this uh, we will bring it to the front I actually I did another visual on uh, a, a video uh, another video on how to work with and give this message to the users so basically I will put the link of that video in the description so what will happen is if I uh, if I pick a range a eight months and now this this video should be behind so what we can do is view uh, and then go into selection and make this card visual at the last because we would, we don't want it to be in the front so okay here it goes in the back so our this this selection will still work and if i make a date range outside the eight months we see the message and uh, if i if we make the number of months more than the total number of months selected then we will see the visual anyhow this is small trick how you can actually really control and uh, what you want to see the purpose of this video was to show how all selected function is really really important in this case and um, how this whole scenario and things works and basically I already have a visual a, a video on the conditional formatting and which uh, allows us to show those messages to the users uh, do check out that video I hope you learned few things out of this video until next video have a good day thanks for watching bye for now do subscribe my channel thank you bye